for the F-150 gas-powered version versus the new all-electric version in just five minutes. That's right, the best-selling vehicle in America now has an all-electric younger brother, the F-150 Lightning. They may look almost the same on the outside, but are very different on the inside. The gas version has one big advantage, but the Lightning has two really cool features that are only available in the electric version that may win you over. Let's compare them side by side and see which one is for you. And first, we're gonna talk about your wallet. And this is where things get a little complicated. The gas-powered F-150 starts at around $35,000. The electric Lightning starts a little over $50,000. Now, right away, you see the $16,000 difference and probably go, well, so much for the future. I'm out of here. Well, actually, wait, <laughs> don't leave just yet, because if you look closer, the numbers are actually almost identical. First, the reason the gas version is so much cheaper is because it is a stripped down commercial version that is not available in the electric one. The starting price for the Lightning already includes a lot of options the gas entry-level one doesn't, including the all-wheel drive. Secondly, the F-150 Lightning qualifies for the $7,500 instant tax credit as long as you qualify as a buyer in the US. Now, there are many other state and local incentives that many times add up to thousands and thousands extra dollars of discounts, and other countries also have their own incentives as as well. But that's still not it. If you add the savings from paying for lower electric rates compared to your gas rates, not having to pay for oil changes, tune-ups, transmission maintenance, and brakes, that's right, electric car brakes last a very long time. Well, if your calculator is working properly, you will end up shaving thousands and thousands more dollars through your ownership, bringing the total cost down to pretty much the same as the entry-level gas version price. Now, let's talk about the range. Now, while the electric lightning range is from 240 to 320 EPA rated miles, the gas version ranges from 460 to 720 miles, depending on a trim, but since your electric vehicle charges overnight daily, it requires a way less range than the gas version that needs to last for at least a few days until it trip to a gas station. I should mention that the fast charging time for the Lightning, which you will need for long distance trips, is subpar, taking 44 minutes to charge the battery from 15 to 80%. Now, let's talk about two really big features that are exclusive to the Lightning, but before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Neo Charge. Itching to buy another electric car but don't want to deal with paying an electrician to rewire your home for that second charger? Well, check out the dual car smart splitter from Neo Charge. Get one today and use the discount code in the description of this video. Now, the first thing that the electric F-150 has that the gas version doesn't is the frunk. Yes, it's the front trunk. It is a huge storage space under the hood where there is no longer any need for an engine. This is a safe place to store tools or any other valuables. The other feature that the Lightning has is the ability to power up your house with its battery during a blackout. You do have to invest a little extra into additional equipment to make it happen. Both versions can power up your work site and both have the driver assistant features in Blue Cruise and Ford Copilot 360. The Lightning does get bigger center screen options and only comes in an all-wheel drive. Drive. Both start at 5,000 pounds of towing capacity, but the Lightning caps out at 10,000, where the gas version goes up to 14. The electric version wins in max torque at 775 pound feet versus 640 with the gas version, but the gas one wins in the max horsepower at 700 versus the electric 580. The Lightning comes only with a 5.5 foot bed, where the gas version can be upgraded to 6.5 or an 8-foot size, though keep in mind the extra size is usually used for storage, which is already available with the Frank. So here you go, one truck, two powertrains, the present and the future. And if you would like to know more about differences between the gas and electric powered cars, well, check out this video right here. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.